heckle fate when that semi clap Level the section eight, now that's a city flat These politicians bet the state don't give me black Just give us back our real estate and you can take your pity back No piggyback and boost your pockets Use the wallets, use the commas, shoot this comment To the ones who sacrifice, you cross them off And ask the price for profits on that pacifice is nonsense, acting high, it's pawn pilots pacify your conscience Whoever sees this and subscribes right now get free geology Now that rocks What's going on YouTube? It's Noxo and we're back to our reaction series So today, today, man We've got a very, very special one, an artist we've never, ever done on the channel. You guys have been flooding the comment section. You've been requesting this. Shout out to the Patreon. Shout out to Dash. Shout out to Carolyn. Thank you guys for putting me on to Ren. And this is High Ren. But before getting further, I want to give a quick shout out to that song. In the intro, listen guys, I'm an artist myself. My latest album charted on iTunes. I'm very, very proud of it. I've got a brand new music video that I just previewed that will be dropping this Saturday. Stay tuned for that. 12 o'clock. I couldn't be more excited. Also, shout out to the Patreon. Patreon family, exclusive reaction and content on there. A great way to support the channel is by joining the Patreon family community. I'll put the links to it below. But anyways, anyways, you know what we're here for. Ren, step up to the plate. Let's make history. One. What the? <sighs> now that's ironic. A pig butcher. Too bad I've gone kosher this week. What in the mental asylum is happening here? Oh. Where have I heard that line before? You can suck my dick if you don't like. No, it's not that. It's a little like that. Oh, switch it up. Now that's different. Oh, okay. This is wild. Hi there, Ran. It's been a little while. Did you miss me? You thought you buried me. Oh, dude's British. Okay. Hi there, Ran. It's been a little while. Did you miss me? You thought you buried me, didn't you? Risky. Cause I always come back. Deep down, you know that. Deep down, you know I'm always in periphery. Ran on your pleased to see me. It's been weeks since we spoke, bro. I know you need me. You're the sheep, I'm the shepherd. Not your place to lead me. Not your place to be biting off the hand that feeds me. Hi, Ran. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been Clever. taking some time to. Clever. Makes me think of kind of like NF when he personifies different emotions. And I don't know what is represented yet of that first voice but it was kind of manic it was cracking he used a completely different cadence and he was turned that way to represent sort of that personality or that facet that he wants to highlight and then when he comes back with the answers notice how he drops down and changes his voice and it becomes sort of more normalized there's not as much like emotion and cracking and just you know anxiety behind it really really Interesting. Let's see where we roll with this, man. Shepard, not your place to lead me. Not your place to be biting off the hand that feeds me. Hi, Bren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. Even his facial expressions are really good. Like, they totally switch up from here. Like, if you just look at his eyes, like, you got the veins popping in his throat Bro, here. Oh, you need me. You're the sheep. I'm the shepherd. Not your place to lead. Yeah. That is, that is a freaky stink eye he's giving him. Not your place to be biting off the hand that feeds me. Hi, Bren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time. Look at it. Even that look like he doesn't like trust him, but really it's himself. Wow, I'm already into this. Like the characterization here is dope. Be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself since my therapist told me I'm ill. And I've been making some progress lately. And I've learned some new coping skills. So I haven't really needed you much, man. I think we need to just step back and chill. Ren, you sound more insane than I do. You think that those doctors are really there to guide you? You've been through this a million times. Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to. Okay. I love that scheme right there. Civilian mind a million times. Very smooth rhymes. He's just slipping into the smooth rhyme schemes as well. And I like as well when we switch back to this more maniacal character. It's like Smeagol and 
and Gollum coming together in Lord of the Rings right now. My precious. Guys, you've been through this a million. But right there, like, the lights get all flickery. And I haven't seen the lights really flicker when he's, like, his more normal side. Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be in lie to. Okay, take another pill, boy. Drown yourself in the sound of white noise. Follow this 10-step program. Rejoice. All your problems will be gone. Fucking dumb boy. Nah, mate. Whoa. This time is different, man. Trust me. I feel like things might be full. Yeah, see how the lights are flickering? And then when he turns and switches personalities, they more normalize there. That's really cool use of the lighting to highlight again the different characters. Go on, fucking dumb boy. Nah, mate. This time is different, man. Trust me. I feel like things might be falling in place. And my music's been kind of doing bits too. Like I actually might do something great. Hmm. And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered for doing something special with myself. That's why I don't think that we should talk, man. Because when you're with me, it never seems to help. You think that you can amputate me? I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we, we are one. Split in two, that makes one, so you see. You gotta kill you if you wanna kill me. I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side. Oh, you're oh, that is haunting right there. And notice how he doesn't strum the guitar at all. Like, he just really lets those lines hit home. And he just lets that sit out there acapella. And we are one. You gotta kill me in order to get rid of me. But really, you're just killing yourself. Oh, what a paradox right there. Yeah, we're definitely gonna find the precious in this one. one so I'm, I'm following Ren to Mordor. Let's fucking go. You gotta kill you if you wanna kill me. I'm not left over dinner. I'm not scraps on the side. Oh, your music is thriving. Delusional guy. Where's your top right. ten hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Where? Ah. Your Grammys, Ren? Nowhere. Yeah, but my Ooh. music's not commercial like that. I never chase numbers, statistics, or stats. I never mm. write hooks for the radio. They never even play me. So why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connected. And the people... Stats, that, then he has a nice little internal scheme, radio, play me so, then back to the at scheme, so he goes A, A, B, B, A, smooth rhymes again. Play me so, why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connected, and the people who find it, respect it. And for me, that's enough, because this life's been tough, so it gives me a purpose I can rest in. Man, mm. you sound so pretentious, Ran, your music is so self-centered, no one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself, trust me. You should be so lucky having me inside you to guide you, remind you to manage expectations, provide you perspective. That thing to guide you to manage expectations. Da 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 da. He's got some smooth flows right there. That flow switch, I really like that scheme. And man, so relatable as an independent artist. And it's like, well, I'm doing successful, right? I'm doing numbers, but where's the radio hits? You know, where's the interviews? Where's the high level stuff that makes you a celebrity, I guess? And it's like, nah, I'm, I'm independent for a reason. Like my music is there to connect emotionally with the fans, to build that community. I just don't want to regurgitate hits that I think are going to be mainstream and that are just, you know, nonsensical. I actually want to make music that matters emotionally. I mean, the plight of any independent artist, yet we still want to get noticed. We still want to be successful. We want to make a living off of this. I love the way he's representing this. And we're just like inside of his head. This is internal dialogue happening that he's converted to the art form of rap and telling through his form of poetry it's smooth self-centered no one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself trust me you should be so lucky having me inside you to guide you remind you to manage expectations provide you perspective that thing you neglected i get what's really cool is as he's doing uh the little guitar taps you know he's strumming and then he's doing the he's adding sort of like a percussion to it because i've talked about this before like a lot of rap runs off of percussion vibes and where are the drum lines and that's what we kind of identify first as mcs and then we like either choose to follow that or rap contrary to it or come in and out of those pockets but instead of just rapping over the strumming of the guitar he's kind of adding a different element while still using his acoustic electric guitar by having just those taps against the strings because it just adds sort of like that drum beat percussive roll to it as well as the strum so it's essentially he's like kind of getting two different sounds in one out of this me inside you to guide you remind you to manage expectations provide you perspective that thing you neglect it i get it you want to be a big deal next jimmy hendrix forget it man it's not like that man it's just like that i'm inside you you twat no it's not man you're wrong when i write i belong let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song ren sits down has a stroke of genius he wants to write a song that was not done previous a battle with the subconscious eminem did it played on guitar oh. plan b did it man you're not original you <laughs> criminal rip off artist <laughs> oh i love that oh you're just ripping off eminem like guilty conscious in here all the times like he talks to his conscious with shady he's had a number of songs where he's done it now i was thinking nf before but yeah and then who he shots at that's a uk artist and did it? it played on guitar plan b did it man you're not original i love it he's like hey but at least i played on guitar i'm doing something different here and he's like nah plan b I already came through with that as well very very again it's kind of like trolling yourself in a way 
Very clever writing and storytelling. Battle with the subconscious, Eminem did it. Played on guitar, Plan B did it. Man, you're not original, you criminal rip off artist. The pinnacle of your success is stealing other people's material. Ran, mate, we've heard it all before. Wow, that flow right there was my favorite when he just accelerates that pace in that pocket. Criminal rip off artist, the pinnacle of your success is stealing other people's material. The pinnacle of your success is ripping off other people's material. Nice. Man, you're the original, you criminal, rip off artist. The pinnacle of your success is stealing other people's material. Ran, mate, we've heard it all before. Uh, she sells seashells on the seashore. Fuck you. I don't need you. I don't need to hear this. Because I'm fine by myself. I'm a genius. And I will be great. And I will make way. Notice too, right? When he's getting more aggressive with the flows. Heard it all before. Uh, she sells seashells. He was, the tone of the guitar and the pacing was very different. And then when he changes characters, he also changes the tone and the pacing of the guitar to match that. Again, really cool stuff happening visually with the lights flickering when he's from one side with his cadence, but also what he's choosing to do with the guitar as well, just to highlight the different voices and the different emphasis. And at the end of the day, like we're three minutes 41 in this video. This is captivating. And this is really hard to do because there's nothing else. It's one scene. It's one setting. We've got two different cameras. Actually, looks like three. We've got one out wide. You've got one when he turns one side, one when he turns the other way. And that's it. We're just jumping back and forth between that. So it's really got to be guided by his acting, his emotional performance, and what he gives you. And the instrumentation is just a guitar. So again, it's really speaking volumes that I'm just so immersed into this world right now. And it's not like you have to really go over the top with things from like a visual production perspective, from a musical production perspective. It just goes to show what you can achieve just being like an independent artist. The pinnacle of your success is stealing other people's material. Ran, mate, we've heard it all before. Uh, she sells seashells on the seashore. Fuck you. I don't need you. I don't need to hear this. Because I'm fine by myself. I'm a genius. And I will be great. And I will make waves. And I'll shake up the whole world beneath it. That's right. Nice. Speak your truth. Yeah. Will be great. I will make waves. I'll make a difference. But he's also playing off and of getting trolled for that childhood rhyme. You know, she sells seashells by the seashore. So he's playing off of that being by the seashore but in this case the waves have a different metaphor and meaning smooth wordplay and i will be great and i will make waves and i'll shake up the whole world beneath it that's right speak your truth your fucking god complex leaks out of you it's Whoa. refreshing to ask for you say it instead of downplay it uh, music is all about the creative process and if people can find something to relate to within that then that's just a bonus fuck you i'm gonna fucking kill you ren i'm gonna fucking kill me i'm gonna fucking have you ren i'm gonna do it watch me prove it who are you to doubt my music because i call the shots i choose if you die yeah i call the shots and so i choose da -da 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 if you die i love that little again he's really found a really cool aggressive accelerated pocket and then when he just drops back down he gets like more conversation with the tone there's so much personality injected into the writing as well do it watch me prove it who are you to doubt my music because i call the shots i choose if you die yeah i call the shots and so i choose who survives i'll tie you up in knots when i lock you inside nice uh-oh news flash i was created at the dawn of creation I am temptation. I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Beheading all kings. I am sin with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies. Mistopheles, truth in the blender, deceitful pretender, the ban. Wow. Mistopheles. He was there at the dawn of time. He is original sin. I'm guessing that he's representing temptation, the devil. Even Mistopheles from Dr. Faustus, man. When he made the bargain with Dr. Faustus and he bargained for the devil. Wow. Zipper anti cry, father of lies. Mustopheles, truth in a blender, deceitful. Truth in a blender, I like that bar too. Tender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender when standing in front of my solar eclipse. My name is stitched to your lips, so you see. I won't bow to the will of a mortal, feeble and normal. You wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every Whoa. decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division. I live inside death, the beginning of ends. I am you, you are me, I am you, friend. Wow. What a change. That was incredible. I love the emotion behind that. You notice how the lights really went ham there and just whew, the scheme. And that was a turn because I'm sat there thinking, you know, it's, maybe it's just pride talking to himself or, you know, sort of representing that devil on his shoulder. But in this case, he kind of took it literally, figuratively, took it to a whole deeper existential level. You know, this is a battle that mankind has been going through throughout the ages since the dawn of time. And this is something greater than just you and what you think your own little narcissistic world, artistic world is full of. Wow. Hi, Ren. I've 
been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself and I've spent half my life ill. But just as sure as the tide starts turning, just as sure as the night has dawned, just as sure as the rainfall soon runs dry when you stand in an eye of a storm. I was made to be tested and twisted. I was made to be broken and beat. I was made by his hand, it's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet. And mm. you know me, my- I love that, with the stand on my own two feet, and he literally gets up to help visually represent that moment as well. And again, yet another sort of cadence that he's used as he's coming with kind of his more like logical, I guess, normal self, not this voice that's talking to him. He's really got a lot of different sort of styles that he's injected personality-wise into the delivery of this. His hand is and I love that with the eye of the storm bar too and the rain and then eventually like finding the dry, like, you know, even through the darkness, eventually you'll find the light, you know, even through the doubt and the droughts and the storm, you know, there will come a different time and a different place and moment and day. And twisted. I was made to be broken and beat. I was made. That's a hard line. I was made to be broken and beat. His hand is a part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet. Mm. And you know me, my will is eternal. And you know me, you've met me before. Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east and I'll settle on the ocean floor. And I go. Face to face with a beast, I'll rise from the east. Like the mark of the beast and like Book of Revelations, Armageddon days and the rise of the devil then and the Antichrist. Face to face with a beast. Because he had the Antichrist bars earlier. Wow. We'll rise from the a lot of religious context happening now too. East and I'll settle on the ocean floor. And I go by many names also. Some people know me as hope. Some people know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope. And you know how I know that I'll prosper. That's great. So we've we've come around and we've Hey, checkmate here. I'll see your eternal sort of sin and disappointment and temptation, and I'm something eternal as well. Something that you can't constrain. I am hope. I'm eternal as well. Wow. Voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope. And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Because I stand here beside you today. I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain, and I didn't once flinch or shake. Mm. So cower at the man I've become. When I sing from the top of my lungs Okay I won't retire, I'll stand in your fire Inspire that me to be strong And when I am gone I will rise In the music that I left behind Ferocious, oh. persistent, immortal like you We're a to different side <laughs> I like that change when he stands up here because this is different. It's it's like a rig to him now. So every movement, it's kind of stabilized on him. And you see just like the camera's even shakier here. It just feels more raw. Like he's really stood up now. This is a turning point. And I think visually we want to represent kind of that turning point as well. I don't have epilepsy. Haunting. When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. Wow. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare, but there were victims mm. and there were students. That's a great line. There were no real winners, no real losers in psychological warfare, only victims. Losers <laughs> in psychological warfare, but there were victims and there were students. It wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. Hmm. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. Wow. I love that, that play on light and dark, kind of within us all. 
through the dawn of time, the battle of good versus evil, hope versus loss versus suffering, the devils and the angels within our own minds on our own shoulders, and then going to a greater level of that. Man, this dude is a, he's a deep thinker. He's a very poetic mind. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. Mm. If I could dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So mm. I got older, and I learned to relax. And I learned to soften, and that dance got easier. Wow. That's a, again, that's just some great pearls of wisdom and someone who's really been through the trenches here sharing his journey and his struggle with you. And I think that's so true. Like sometimes we try to control so much and we, be, because we get so invested, because we try to control, it leads to more desperation. It leads to more being upset. And sometimes it's okay to relax and realize there's certain things that are out of your control. You can't control everything that happens in your life. You can't control fate. You can only respond to things sometimes. And I, I think that's a greater statement he's making right there as he relates it to sort of the dance of life and the different moments and trials and tribulations that we all go through. You know, we all need to learn that mindfulness and being able to kind of let go and move forward sometimes because we all can fall victim to just grasping onto that past and wanting to over control and oversimplify the present. This is intense. To relax. And I learned to soften and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, mm. from gods. And I must not forget. Wow. We must not forget that we are human beings. Wow. That was intense. I mean, that was a journey. And the way that we end that, that we are human beings. And and for me, that song is just going to grab so many people. And whether that's someone suffering with addiction, and that battle with addiction, and that demon of addiction, and taking on those devils, and trying to find hope, and that inner discourse represented through this song. Or whether it's just, you know, not necessarily addiction, but you know, mental health in general and going through those battles and those shadows or even religious contexts and reflecting on life and mankind and the struggles of good versus evil. And I think one of the most important things that it comes through there is he lets us know it's okay to be human. Don't forget that. You know, we're not immortals. We're not gods. We're not perfect. We're not angels. And we're not as terrible as demons. There's light and dark when it's all. And there's a beauty having that light and that dark. And I think the key is finding that, that balance and accepting those flaws that we do have and finding a way forward and using hope to help guide us. What a powerful impact. And I always say this about songs like this with people who have been through it, who have been there. I love when someone makes a song like this because it lets others know, hey, you're not alone. You know, there's help. There's people who can relate. There's people who have been through it. This world is hard. This world is dark. Stay strong, everyone. Ren, you were Noxil certified. Hope you guys like today's video. Listen here at the end. Obviously, enjoy the content. Do me a huge favor, guys. Support channel directly. Subscribe, notifications on. Comment down below any other requests you want to see me do. I love you. Stay safe. Stay positive. I'll catch you again.